What does being a father mean to me? A father is a mirror, an example, a leader, my best friend. Yeah, the one that teaches you how to ride a bike, the one that is always there for you, that provides, you know, that supplies. Yeah, your first champion, pretty much. Well, being, what, what a father means to me, being a father means to me, is, is about sacrifice, you know. Um, before you become a father, you live your life and you can do whatever you want, you can spend your money how you like. When you become a father, you start to sacrifice, you start to think about the future of that child or children and you try to do everything in your life to make sure that they have a better life than you have and you can give them something better than you have. So, father to me is a sacrifice. As a child, up until I was even in secondary school, anytime I'm sick, my dad is the only one that takes me to the hospital. I did it was when I grew up, grew like when I became a full adult, that was when I think about it. My dad always took me to the hospital. He was always there. When he's coming back from work, I'm always excited because I know he'll definitely come back with something. But that's sick time. When I'm sick, I can't do anything. And my dad is always there. Like all true. And um I really miss him very much for that. Being a father is much more just than uh, being a dad or a title. It's more of being a uh, responsible father, father that will be ready to protect his family at every point in time. Whenever there is any need, listen to his children to know what they may be going through, ask them questions, engage them on a regular basis. And also, lastly, to be able to uh pass a virtue to them and making them to know what is more valuable in life being a father is just being about protection actually yeah like protection trying to mentor your child in the right steps to take trying to tell your child okay this that this that taking your child's hand telling him that okay i love you son i love you daughter um just know that anything you need in this life i've got you and all that stuff. I'm your best friend. You can talk to me at any time and all that stuff. One valuable lesson I learned from my dad would be patience. Um, he grew up with girls, we're just three girls in the house, and I know how often we throw tantrums, and it takes a while before my dad actually gets mad. Like, my dad's a very patient person. I remember growing up and cooking, I, I used to think I was a good cook, but looking back right now, I was literally bad. But my dad is the one person that would eat my food without criticizing me, so like, he was always patient with me. He would eat whatever rubbish I cooked and he wouldn't say anything. Just eat it and be fine with it. Like, that was my dad. So, it wasn't easy, but yeah. One valuable lesson I've learned from my father is listen to understand and not to respond. I think um, that word has really helped me to, you know, manage relationships, you know, with my friends, my wife, my colleagues, and yeah, everyone around me pretty much so thanks dad my dad has this thing where he picks a goal and blocks out all the noise it doesn't matter what is happening it doesn't matter what he's now is he blocks out the noise focuses on the goal and until that is achieved he doesn't stop it's amazing how sometimes he's surrounded by things that are not going very well as long as he has his goal like for months, I've seen it happen for like a period of time for years, focuses on one thing and until it is achieved, he doesn't stop. So one thing I know I've learned very well from my dad is the gift of focus. So one valuable lesson I learned from my dad, the blessed memory, is to be better than what you were yesterday. He was always telling us to please climb the ladder. It was, that's his word, climb this ladder. Don't give up, don't stay at that level. Don't, don't, don't think that you can't do it. Always climb the ladder do better than you did yesterday and believe that God will help you and make it work. And I have always used that in my life and I'm climbing the ladder slowly. I thank him for that. I remember growing up, he would not want us to see us with anything that he didn't provide for us. And uh, I mean, only thing he gave us that is what we should have. We should not be able, I mean, we should not be looking after the other people's uh, things or material things so so he is always out there to know that okay we are always uh with what he gave us not with what i um, mean we got from other I mean, other people 
one valuable lesson I learned from my father is that um, don't hide away your talents because I learned to speak up actually. Like, if you have so many talents and then you hide or show the world just one, then the world will actually underestimate you. So, like, let's show your talents and yeah, the world will appreciate you more once you show your talents. It's an amazing person. I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day, senior man. I get, I get my love for you. I love you. Thank you.